in it. This woman did. Um, leadership, right? Leadership, leadership, leadership. I think this is um, Extreme Ownership. This book by um, Joko Wernick is a really good book on leadership. Um, obviously, he's got, he has a very... Oh, Um, so this book by Jack and Willink behind me called Extreme Ownership. He has a very particular view on leadership, obviously coming from the SEAL team. Um, they they very much favor this idea of a hierarchy, this idea of operational command. That's how things get done. You know, being able, being in charge of, you know, a platoon of people. You have to have some kind of processes in place that allow, you know, the rule of law to kind of come from the top and it to be actioned by people at the bottom. But there's also this idea and this concept that you can also feed up some feed. You can also feed back some insights to the people at the top and they can kind of disseminate that information as they need be. But the most important thing is the people at the top, the actual leaders, they take extreme ownership. Everything that goes wrong with the company or goes right with the company is usually a, a reflection of the leaders you have in your in your startup or your company you work for every company that i've been at that's been amazing has usually come from the company culture that's created by the person at the top every company i've been at that's kind of shitty has usually come from the frictions that exist for people at the top as well i think we can all attest to that same sort of findings in any workplace that you've been at and part of me thinks that this covid thing has seen leaders been able to lock things down right lockdown has been implemented very well across the board they locked things down people stayed away from people you know locked pubs and social gathering places so you couldn't go out you stayed indoors you obeyed but then when it comes to reopening the economy or when it comes to kind of um enacting some good practices when you go out socially people are a little um, the government are a little bit shitty at that regard right they don't really take they're not taking owners ownership and they're not taking responsibility uh case in point dominic cummings you know to take going on a 260 mile round trip and having no sense of responsibility of how that looks the optics of it are really bad the fact that he set a bad precedent it doesn't necessarily register him right he are allowed to kind of ask request the public for one thing but then do the complete opposite in your own life because you, you're given that kind of lead you're given that kind of leeway because you're in charge but then you're not recognizing that you're essentially eroding the kind of collective agreement by doing that thing on your own and you're not kind of abiding by the group rules so in place of that people are having to police themselves which is really dangerous right because you get this that's where vigilantes vigilantism comes from right or being a vigilante comes from that kind of guys because if the rule of law isn't being agreed isn't being agreed upon by the collective and the people above are not enforcing it then we're going to have to somehow police ourselves that's how mafias are born that's how vigilantes are kind of birthed and what you're seeing in this video here from new york is a very much an explanation of that this incredible video somewhere in new york where um, halls of shoppers are essentially screaming at this person because they're refusing to wear a mask in a shopping center or in a shop in a shop somewhere i imagine part of the reasons because um most shops in the u.s have implemented this uh this uh policy that if you want to shop you have to wear a mask so there is this kind of accepted notion that in order to shop you need to have a face mask on regardless if you don't want to wear on outside in your day-to-day -day life if you want to come into a building of any sort you have to wear a face mask um and some people obviously have turned it into a political issue they've kind of seen um wearing a face mask as a as a, not wearing a face mask as a constitutional right it's against their freedoms if they want to die they can die blah 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 but it's it gets really slippery and this is the problem of not having leaders that are accountable for that take responsibility for their actions or the leave from the front is you get people then succumbing to this which looks just crazy on in all counts for the person that comes into the shop without a mask on and mouths off and to the people that are kind of hounding them out in a sailor witch trial sort of fashion it's really scary Get out. Yeah, the in the chair at the end. Get out. I'm pretty sure them, you know, it's sad to say, but I'm pretty sure in this lady's, you know, in this lady's case, being that weight and having to ride on a ride on a mobility scooter, the last, you know, the last thing you should be worried about is people not wearing a mask. You probably should be concentrating on your diet and your, you know, exercise regime, of course. But it's just funny hearing her voice in the background. Like a dirty ass kid. Dangerous place to be in, isn't it? Dangerous place to live in, man, where the public sort of like have to take responsibility of that regard. Like, oh, God almighty, what can you do? 